Um, it started from a phone call. Um, and honestly, I almost hung up on <laughs> I thought it was a telemarketer. Are, are you Chris Kane? Which is, again, is sort of like the opening of a telemarketing thing. So it's like, yes, you know, just ready to shut off. And uh, I said, oh, did you do the airport sculpture? And I said, oh, wait a second, this is not, this is someone actually asking me about art. <laughs> so I changed gears, and it turned out it was Dan Sullivan from uh, Colette. I'm thrilled to unveil a new addition to this beautiful Colette Park um, that um, I think you're all going to love. Okay, guys? Life-size statue. This life-size statue of my father was crafted by an outstanding local artist, Chris Kane. They're balancing a lot of elements, so it's memorializing father, it's about the ascendancy of the company, and then the values that were his guiding it's principles totally that perfect. they credit to yeah. the success of their family and the company. Was. So some, some thoughts yeah, that, that yes. in mind I, I thought were could have ended up being sort of commercial, like if he was holding a bunch of Colette travel brochures, you know what I mean? You didn't want it to look like he was like selling vacations. Um, that would cheapen what's really a very noble and sentimental idea. Well, I got to see the site and they have a beautiful park there. I got to hear more of, about the history of the company, get sort of the vibe and reverence that they all have for the patriarch. I thought, well, maybe we could have him standing at a table with a photo album. They wanted a globe somehow to kind of symbolize the travel industry. So we thought, well, it could be a table that has a map of the world on it and without making that a very dominant feature, but it could be like kind of a nice detail. And then uh, have him looking at a photo album and in the photo album, I could depict images from their family history that are significant or tell some of the history of the company through the pictures they provided. They, they provided me a tremendous amount of pictures through his whole life, from when he, he got back from the army in World War II all the way until he was a very old man before he died. And then it also had the opportunity for an inscription that could say something relevant. <laughs> So I made a little model, and they liked that idea, and uh, we went from there. Yeah, Dad, I think, too, if you stand back, because um, not everyone's going to be like... Looking Someone at else poured the metal. Like Glenn and his, his crew at like Campbell Plaster and Iron in Vermont, um, I delivered the mold to them. They cast the wax, I went and chased the wax, so they did all the gating, dipping, uh, metal casting, and uh, they did the assembly of the figure, and metal chased it to, I'd say, about... 90%. And then um, you know, we got it back from them, and then we chased it the final rest of the way. Anytime you cast something, it's going to be riddled with a variety of defects that are going to come from the casting process. So some of them are fine. They don't matter. They just kind of become part of the sculpture, but some of them need to be addressed. Overall surface work is you want to make sure the sculpture is uh, touch friendly so that people can just move their hands over the whole thing without getting stabbed by some tiny little burr. And the only way to find all those things is to rub it down by hand and say, oh, that's sharp, that's sharp, that's sharp, and then go in and take care of these little stabs and little tiny defects that you can only feel, you can't see them, you'll feel them. So you have this sort of living thing, this family that's going on, and this company that's going on. Um, and it seems like uh, the credit for the success of the family and the company is, is pretty universally attributed to this man and his personal style and, and, and manner and, and vision. I mean, this is sincere, you know, like their feelings about this are, are heartfelt. And as an artist, like you, you, you get that.
Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> Beautiful. I can't get over that. It's amazing. Oh, sorry. Grandma, the famous picture of my grandmother on his back, right? This, not too long after they got married. And uh, and then you look at some of the other pictures and like the picture of you and you have the long hair. And like, he's probably about I still have long hair. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God it's not that long. <laughs>